What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this one today I'm just going to talk about how you can work out gradients and uh, gradients for drainage. So um, I'll just go to the site plan. Okay so I'm just, I'll just use this site as, as an example. So um, I'm just going to say, say we want to know what the gradient is from this manual to this manual. So let's say this has already been built and uh, this is just a backdrop symbol, this manual has a backdop. So Let's say the manual's been built and the backdrop's been built, and we just want a gradient to get us some from here, so we get the correct level in this manual here. And this manual, just for reference, is S18, and this is S17 for surface. So I'll just show you what a backdrop is real quick. So this is a backdrop. So this will be the manual chamber here, and uh, this is a backdrop. So the backdrop set a bit higher up than the actual manual base. This is just just so there's an excessive fall on the pipes or an excessive gradient on the pipes is just to control that. So I'll just go back to the site plan. So to work out a gradient it's it's quite simple and it's quite a simple formula but first thing you need to do is survey this point, work out the level of the pipe here and uh, to do this you can do this using a, an automatic level or dumpy level and work out reduced level that way or you can use a total station. I prefer personally to use a total station because once you survey this pipe here um, and then you know the distance, you can work out the distance in Kogo in your machine or you can plot it in CAD and just just type in dist and it'll tell you the distance it's important to know the distance, you can use your, if you're using an automatic level or dumpy level you can use uh, just a long tape and do it but you just got to make sure the tape's being held as um, horizontal as possible so um, so yeah, so once you've got this surveyed I use a total station, easy to know the distance, then you just um, you work out the gradient. It's important to note if there's any um, features on the line. So I make note of, a, of um, the type of pipe. So it's a clay pipe and it's a 225 diameter. And whatever junction's coming off, we just need to make sure these are at the right distance. But um, I'll show you the kind of sketch I, I do and the sketch I give to the drainage team. So here's an example of a sketch. So it was S18 to S17, kick off of the title there. I want to put the date in the top corner. So then I write on S18, draw a little back, drop, backdrop symbol. If there's any drainage coming off, so there's two gullies to the right on the line, I'm into S17. And um, just put the distances in for the, for the junctions. And uh, to get the distances, it's really simple. You just go back to your CAD model, type in dist. Make sure you've got your snap set to uh, whatever you want. So I want centre. So I'll go here, hover over centre. That's it there. So that's telling me a distance of 7.6556 or 7.656. I'll just check if I got that right. 7.656, yep. And if I want the other junction, that's telling me 22.280. 22.280, yep. So then we get on to actual working out the gradient. So S18 backdrop level, this is what I surveyed, 114. 0 0.057 got that I know the distance because it, I, I did it with a total station but you can always run a tape measure from this manual to that manual distance is 31.802 meters and the proposed level of F7 S17 which I haven't put in yet is 115.461 and to work out the gradient as a percentage we will work it out as a percentage because that's what goes in the pipe laser the pipe laser is a tool to the, the pipe layer uses to make sure it's um, it's at the right level. So the gradient to work it out, so the former to work it out as a percentage is the difference in the height divided by the length times 100. So in our case it'll be the proposed uh, level which is 115.461 uh, 17 take away 114.057 which is our surveyed level Divide this by the length and times by 100, I might guess it's to 4.41481. And uh, I just rounded it up to three decimal places because that's all that can go in a pipe laser. Okay, and sometimes it might be worth expressing this as one in something. So, one in, so for example, 10% is one in 10. 
Um, I'll just show you how you can quickly do that. So I'll just pop over to this. Oh, this is a pipe laser, if you didn't know. So this just goes in the pipe. You type your gradient in there and um, you'll hear it clicking and this just laser beam is just projected at that gradient. And this is the target that goes in the end of the pipe so you know your pipe's the right level. And uh, I just did some quick examples here. So what is 1 in 19 as a percentage? So sometimes you get given gradients as a 1 in something. So 1 in 19, it's really easy to work out. It's just 1 divided by 19 times 100. So 1 in 19 is equal to 5.263%. And just another example, how do you go the reverse way? So what is 0 0.333 expressed as 1 in something? And that's, and you just work that out by 1 divided by the percentage times 100 is 300. So therefore, it's 1 in 300. So 1 in 300 is equal to 0.333%. Okay. And uh, this is also a handy thing to have, just a gradient chart. Um, so 1 in 10 equals 10%. 1 in 125 is equal to 0.8%. It's just a handy thing to refer back to. But... Um, but yeah, that's how I do it. Just a nice clean sketch. Keep a copy for yourself and a uh, copy for the drainage team on site. And uh, yeah, that's how you work out a gradient. Right, thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment and subscribe.